So what's going on toxic gamers and Call of Duty refugees? Today we got a massive bombshell that just dropped. Okay, the Black Ops 6 beta is here. We got the Black Ops 6 gameplay. Call of Duty Next is happening. And a lot of people are really bricked up right now, man. Like a lot of people are shaking. A lot of people are like looking like this as well with that. Really baby. Right? And we got a lot of that. Now, you know what? All of this is a lie. Nobody's excited. At least I'm not seeing people being excited, which is kind of wild, right? Because, and there are two video clips that I'm gonna share with you guys. People are excited and bricked up for zombies. Okay, that's a fact. People are excited for that. But for multiplayer, man, it's sad that I'm not even seeing anybody being excited. We, I got two video clips that I'm gonna share with you. One from the most positive, like Mr. Positive out there. Uh, and, and even he's not feeling it, all right? I'm gonna keep you guessing. I'm gonna keep you guessing who that is. And we also have the homie eight thoughts though oh, yeah we got the homie eight thoughts now the thing with the homie eight thoughts is that sometimes he bipolar right he like he bipolar yeah. sometimes he loves call of duty other times he hates it and, and he got kind of goes crazy at that joe biden guy like the blame truth right and, and you know what we're still waiting for joe biden's or i should say blame truth's word Bruh. Because he disappeared. I'm not even sure what's happening with uh, Blame Truth right now. We haven't seen Blame Truth in a minute, right? I'm still kind of wondering like where he's at. Like I want to hear his complaints. I want to hear what the homie gotta say. You know, free therapy, right? What? Yo, that's a, that, that's Andrew Tate though. Holy crap, that's Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate working at Treyarch? What the hell? What the hell? Let me see that. Okay, no, that's not Andrew Ten, my bad. But he looked like him, right? It looked like him. Damn, homie, like I, I feel like I'm on a different planet right now, though. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get into this one. Like the video if you just want a good game, guys. Without skill-based matchmaking, without microtransactions, dislike the video if you want the friendly. I wanna know where you guys at. We're gonna get right into this one. Take it away, A Thoughts. Roll it. Today, Call of Duty Next is happening on Wednesday. A couple yeah. days from now and call of duty next is where all these influencers and youtubers and call of duty youtubers and such get flown out all expenses yeah. paid to la to get wine and dine and get early access of playing call of duty multiplayer and having it live streamed on all the websites call of duty websites call of yeah. duty platforms their platforms to share with their fans and make a ton of money so they get free bjs uh free sugar they're putting in a nice nice hotel and they ultimately come out of it and they're like yeah look at <laughs> yeah this guy looks like and, and, uh, he does not he does not my bad bro but from the side you know when he does like the side eye kind of thing right like 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 that you know what i'm saying he does look like andrew tate though it, it like uh, for a second i thought that it was andrew tate but no nah, it's not but but yes like youtubers get flown out early and then they ultimately lie uh, uh, they ultimately lie to the fans yo man the best game ever bro best game ever best game ever now i'll be honest based off of looking at it i have not played yet so i cannot give you my opinion but based off looking at the gameplay and everything that they reveal the game looks aight okay it looks aight it looks aight you know it's not the best thing ever but it's not the worst thing ever it does look pretty decent though from the gameplay that we have seen now from the league gameplay it doesn't look that good and we have seen the trailer they dropped the trailer today and uh yeah a lot of people are like eh. you know I'm, that's the craziest thing though usually everybody's like bricked up around this time everybody's like hyped up everybody's like yo man new call of duty coming out i'm not seeing that hype uh, i'm not seeing that many people being hyped if you're hyped that's fair though let me know if you're hyped let me know if you're not uh, I want to know where you at. Are you more excited for the campaign than multiplayer? Or are you just excited for zombies? <clears throat> I'm, I'm looking forward to zombies, actually. Like, I've seen the gameplay. It does look good. I hope it holds up, man. I hope this is uh, replayable. I hope it's good. I hope uh, it, it, they don't get us in the second half. I hope there's no, like, gotcha moment with zombies. Because usually, with Activision, there is. There is always. There's always a gotcha moment. Activision is always. They always have the last laugh. This time, I'm hoping that's not the case, but uh oh, wait for it. Ups and social media interactions. And that makes it an absolute scam and makes anybody involved in Call of Duty Next a paid Activision employee. It is impossible to stay impartial and actually be critical of Call of Duty, and it is impossible. He ain't lying though. You guys remember that Doug guy? No hate to him though. Like, listen, man, he's another uh, he's a uh, he's a uh, another homeboy out there, right? You feel what I'm saying? Another human, Homo sapien out there, right? He basically was blinded by Activision, right? But what I mean by this is that I believe all the way back in Modern Warfare 20, yeah, all the way back in Modern Warfare 2022, Doug from Modern Warzone on Twitter came out and by the way if you guys have twitter uh, i would love to have you over on twitter as well right like Bruh. definitely follow gang 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 but yeah doug from modern warzone came out and said that they lied about modern warfare 2022 being good 
I'm not even this, I'm not even sugarcoating. I'm not even exaggerating. This is not a meme, okay? You, this is not a joke. He said that uh, they knew the game was gonna suck, but they they were really really afraid about their career, so they ultimately had to lie. Now, big up to him for admitting and you know coming out clean. He came out clean a couple of months after the launch of Modern Warfare 2022 when everybody was like kind of abandoning it, right? When I say everybody abandoning it, Sekas were still playing it. I mean, we're talking Call of Duty. It's the best selling game ever, right? Sekas love it. Sekas love it. Or I should say Sekas hate it, but Sekas still buying it, okay? That's how it is. In terms of Black Ops 6, I'm gonna be honest here. It looks odd though. It looks so far, it looks better than Modern Warfare 2022. And after all, Modern Warfare 2022 is the game behind the friendly UAV online, the BBC bundle. That's the game that introduced us with the crazy amount of bundles. Uh, skill based matchmaking was absolutely insane. I mean, in fact, it was Modern Warfare 19 that started it all like crazy with skill based matchmaking. So yeah, that's where we at right now. People aren't, aren't like really bricked up for Black Ops 6, but everybody's like, yeah, it looks mid. It's not the worst game ever. It's not the best game ever. Zombies, however, if feeling like it's, it feels like that, that's where the hype is gonna be at though. And I really, really hope Zombies is good, man. I hope there's no gotcha moment, but uh-oh, wait for it. ...to not be biased. When you form personal relationships with the people making the game you're supposed to be critical about, as well as you're just getting paid. You're getting flown out to LA, all expenses paid, you're getting free hotel, you're getting free food, you're getting wined and dined and 69 and getting treated like a celebrity. On top of that, in the past, these influencers have actually been paid and cut checks to show up and make content on that. At this point, we don't have any proof of that, but like there was White proof Boy, right? back in the day. White Hell Boy, yeah, 7th Martin. Street exposed all that as one of the people they offered to pay $10,000 yeah, yeah, yeah. and showed the contracts and many other YouTubers like T. Martin Elliott if I'm not mistaken, that uh, that leak came out around Black Ops 3, right? I'm not sure if he was paid around Black Ops 3 or before that. Yeah, back in the days, these suckers would pay. Can a brother get two pennies? Can a brother get two pennies, right? Back in the days, they would pay, but ultimately, they learned very quickly. They learned their lesson very quickly. When I said they, I mean Activision. They learned their lesson very quickly, realizing that, bro, these suckers gonna still play, bro. These suckers gonna still, like, make videos about it. Like, why pay them when we can actually have them here for free? play our game and <laughs> let them post on their youtube channels right i do feel like that however i do feel like that the bigger youtubers right like for example guys like swag right of course there's no proof though but i'm assuming like if the bigger you are i guess you know you're put in a different bracket and you might be paid i i guess right for example today there was a new there was news that came out and a lot of people were like hey man he don't deserve it he don't deserve it i'm not gonna name names there but a massive actor is getting paid a hundred million dollars holy crap right and, and people love that actor and he's a great actor but everybody in the comments you want to know what's this at he don't deserve 100 million he, everybody was complaining about it everybody was going crazy and he's a known actor uh and he's lovable and he's likable and people love him generally but but see like people saw that news and a lot of people went crazy people were going crazy i was reading the comments and yeah it, it's like that right so my point here is that the bigger you are the more money you get because of your follower count uh, your experience and your name, your brand, it'd be like that. It'd be what it'd be, man. It'd be what it'd be. So I do believe that maybe some bigger YouTubers might be getting money, but like the smaller YouTubers, uh, like the hackers, the Nadias, uh, the Zlanders, and all that, right? Like, eh, probably not. Probably not. Uh, they're probably not gonna. Or maybe Zlander. Yes, Zlander is uh, big. He's big. He has a brand. He has a brand. Uh, so maybe he, he, him. Yeah, but there's no proof. So the big call of duty youtubers back in the day being paid tens of thousands of dollars to go to these call of duty next events and make youtube videos on said events so i don't think it's too far to say that these dudes probably now are being paid i don't know if they're not receiving checks they're getting paid by getting the free trip and they're getting paid by having activists themselves allowing them to live stream and play the game early before anybody else to their youtube subscribers and twitch stream platforms where they make hundreds and hundreds if not thousands well thousands of dollars depending upon the size of their channels with said live streams and all the money and monetization they make through these yeah, uploads yeah, yeah. going forward we have doug dagnabbit here on twitter showing <laughs> what the lounge and whatnot looks like for the call doing next where the people who are being flown out and the influencers where they're getting paid yeah that, that's a, that's a guy i was talking about right no hit to the guy man no hit to the guy but looks like that he did drown it's like i always say this man don't be blinded by the pom pom the pom pom will bring you nothing but but just terrible times okay in the beginning it can bring you some good times but see what happened with dr disrespect see what happened with mr t likes to find no idea for five say you know the horror stories that we have been hearing all night right I'm telling y'all, man, keep your dragons. I, I get it. A dragon must go through a tunnel, okay? That's different, though. 
but I dr but make sure to not let your dragon go through a dark tunnel. Dark tunnel and tunnel, two different things, man. Tif different things. Control your dragon, you control your life, okay? Chase your dreams, not the pom pom, alright? That's, uh, that's the way, right? That's the way. I get it, though. A man has its needs, alright? But still, be careful out there. Be careful. A lot of young boys, uh, young men out there. Older men as well out there getting their lives ruined, man, just because they drown in that pom pom, okay? They drown in that pool, hey! Right? But but here's the thing, though, right? So Doug, uh, he actually drowned in that Call of Duty, right? He was firing dopamine, he was shaking, he was shaking, but ultimately he came out and he's, he said that right from the get go. That's the most funniest thing ever. It's the saddest thing and it's the funniest thing ever because all the way back during the Modern Warfare 2022 life cycle, in before we were supposed to get Modern Warfare 2023, we had like really, really bad news about Modern Warfare 2023 being just remasters only, uh, uh, skill based matchmaking in galore, and uh, campaign being trash, and ultimately a DLC turned into a full game, a full price game. So a lot of people had like sour taste in their mouth, right? And I believe that's what broke the camel's back because around that time when we learned that information, Doug, Doug Nabit uh, from Modern Warzone came out and he said that right from the get-go, the day we played, right from the very beginning, when we land our eyes on Modern Warfare 2022, when we played that game, we knew that was hot trash, okay? We knew it was not gonna do well, but we were afraid and that that's his word. I'm paraphrasing him. I'm paraphrasing, not directly quoting him, but paraphrasing. That's what he said. If you guys were around that time, you guys can watch for me in the comments below, right? If you were around and you heard that, right? So yeah, it's it's crazy, right? Like, uh, and then Charlie Intel started spitting facts, and for a minute, Charlie Intel was not being invited out by Activision because he spoke the truth, apparently, right? Uh, I I believe now he's getting invited out because uh, he's he's he stopped given his uh, takes on Call of Duty, he just covers the news, which is fine, which is fair. Uh, I mean, no hate to anybody. If you love it, you love it. You don't like it, you don't like it. Fair. I mean, after all, it's a video game, right? So... But not to show up and play... The but we do deserve better, though. That's where I'm at. We this do deserve better. Early. Welcome to the Players' Lounge at Call of Duty Next. Now, it's supposed to look like dirty and grungy because it's supposed to resemble the inside of a bank vault and... Call of Duty okay. and the thing with Black Ops 6. Yeah, I mean, definitely gonna have some ping pong up, as you can see. Yeah. So as you can see, you know what I'm saying, a all the free food. A lot of the sugar, sodas, yeah, uh, yeah, a lot of like, a lot of food right there as well, yeah, sodas, yeah, and the sugar go, the sugar makes the people go crazy, yeah, so they got a lot of sugar. All the free swag, they get treated like MVPs, like celebrities, Call of Duty dork celebrities, a bunch of Activision and Treyarch employees always around, making sure they're always taken care of, Yeah. and here's and that they... vault, that little special vault room to make it try to look cool like Black Ops 6. And so, like, you're wondering why, like, why do they bother having these mm -hmm. COD next? Why do they even bother flying all these people out and wasting money for a yeah. bunch of influencers to play the game early? Now, to be fair, though, I do like the reveals, though. I feel like that nowadays, and it's sad, though. It's sad, but there is, uh, to be fair, though, like, right now, even with the reveals, I'm not feeling that hype, though, which is sad, though. But I guess right now, it's 98% reveals and 2% hype. It, it's, it's sad, because I, I was going to say there's more hype for the reveals than for the game. But for me, it's true. Maybe it's not true for you, and I hope it's not true for you. Because, like, listen, I want to see people being hyped. I want to see people being excited for a game. Uh, why would I want to see people being uh, feeling miserable and terrible about a game, right? Like, yeah, I want to see people being excited. I hope this is a good year for Call of Duty. I really hope it's a, it's a genuinely good year. Because right now, I'm looking forward to Zombies, and I really hope Zombies is amazing. I'm not necessarily hyped for Multiplayer, but I hope Multiplayer is good. I hope it's good for you guys out there that are maybe hype for it too right so yeah i don't want to be like that uh that guy but for me it's true like i'm not feeling the hype which is sad though i but generally speaking nowadays it'd be like 98 person reveal two person game gameplay right once the reveal is out it's over like yeah suckers move on suckers move on right damn man like back in the days waiting for call of duty when the first teaser is gonna drop it was crazy bro like it was very very exciting time it was an exciting time when it doesn't actually equate much to views as far as advertising goes nowadays because the ads that they pay for on Super Bowls or football, Monday Night Football and all that money that it actually pays for, you know, in world real advertising, not social media advertising, far eclipses the views that these guys are getting. But what they're doing is this. It's sort of like how Pfizer and other pharmaceutical companies... Here, here's the thing. Super Bowl might give them the views, but, like, the conversion would be low. 
I mean, why pay for ads when you can have these influencers out there for free? Technically not free, I mean, you're paying for their flights and all that. But you guys gotta understand that these influencers, some of them got like millions of subs, hundreds of thousands of subs. So when they post all at the same time, it just makes a bigger impact, right? Like everybody sees that. And they mostly invite out Call of Duty YouTubers and uh, non-Call of Duty YouTubers as well. So, you know, those YouTubers can, with, with like versatile audience, for example, I would give this uh, prime example, Hollow Point, right? Used to be a Call of Duty YouTuber, but now he's a walkthrough guy. And he has, uh, I'm not sure how many millions, uh, probably three, four, maybe more, right? god bless god bless right but but here's the thing though uh he has a very diverse audience very versatile not like diverse audience not talking about that like diverse as in like a lot of different people uh that loves a lot of different types of games right because it's a walkthrough channel so people like them and people that just play and post call of duty content when all of the youtubers post at the same time it's like everybody now knows about the game and it trends and everybody is aware about the game and, and and it's like people it's like the warm audience right that's what they like to call it the audience that have that are familiar with the product that uh, that will buy their game so if, if yeah if you're sub to me if you're sub to like any of the youtubers out there you, you either like the game or you hate it but honestly you have played the game at least once so you're warmed up to the idea you're warmed up to the game so it, it just converts better it just converts better but wait for it when he's advertised on cnn or other news networks they're not paying and having this situation and this cod next event to make the game more popular and to sell games what they're doing is they're buying favor from influencers to be biased when they talk about the video games that just like well. pharmaceutical companies are that not well. buying advertising space on news networks so that they sell drugs they're buying it so that they can tell the news networks what to do and what to say because they pay these news networks bills sort of similar with these call of duty youtube channels and twitter handles like charlie intel and whatnot if they became overly critical of call of duty they wouldn't be invited to these events they wouldn't be insiders they wouldn't get inside information they wouldn't have access facts and what we, we talked about it recently right like charlie intel uh, apparently started speaking the truth right for a minute uh, and, and ultimately he was let go like he was not being <laughs> invited out like for a minute and he did talk about it hey man i'm not getting invited out i'm not getting invited out i believe now he is because he stopped crapping on call of duty and he wasn't even crapping on call of duty he was just being truthful about it that's the thing though you know to developers to activision and they would just be like a no man's land out there just like everybody else and wouldn't have any advantage when providing information and news because nobody who's selling a game is going to want to be friends with media that is negative towards yeah, their product yeah, yeah. and that's why they have these called next events that's why they're friendly with these call of duty youtubers and influencers because they want them to be biased and they want personal relationships with them so they don't give negative news and press and videos exactly. about call of duty exactly now i want to dive into the homie narrow cinema narrow cinema <laughs> roll it we finally got the official multiplayer reveal trailer for black ops 6 and just like a couple of videos ago what we have here today is quite the juxtaposition because the trailer itself is very anticlimactic in the sense that there we've we seen go. pretty much everything from this trailer already in leaked gameplay as well as teasers from activision but at the same time it's a very cinematic trailer in its own right because maybe that's the reason why I'm not seeing people being excited and I'm not also feeling the hype. It's because like we've seen it. I, I believe that's a factor too, right? Like it's uh, you're hyped up to see the game get revealed but once you see it you're like oh what, whatever bro whatever you're kind of excited for it it's like the mystery the novelty factor to you the mystery of the unknown kind of you have not seen it you want to see how the game would look like i mean looks call of duty looks the same that that's also one of the biggest l for call of duty nowadays is that all the call of duties seemingly after modern warfare 19 kind of feels the same ish minus call of duty cold war uh call of duty black ops cold war uh, it still had a little bit of the same factor ish but but still, it was a little bit different. But all the menus for Call of Duty nowadays look same, so it gives people the, the same kind of vibe that they're purchasing the same game over and over. Now, make no mistake, Call of Duty's in the past also have been the same game over and over, but at least the art, the style of the game, uh, Treyarch versus Infinity Ward versus Sledgehammer games, was different, right? Like, the menus would be different, they wouldn't be complicated either. The uh, it, it would feel very unique, too, and it would... Uh, yeah, you would be like, oh man, like Infinity Ward is coming out, man, Modern Warfare is gonna be lit though. Track, oh my god, Black Ops gonna be lit though. It's gonna be different, bro. You're gonna get a, still a little bit of a different experience. Nowadays, it's like every game feeling like Modern Warfare 19, Modern Warfare 2022, it's like a clone. Uh, and, and that's uh, also is adding to the fatigue uh, effect. 
where people are feeling the fatigue people get burnt out faster on the games that that's also another factor i really hope that they start to differentiate the looks and feel of the game a little bit though right like infinity ward got a particular feel trail got a different feel i i hope they do that man because uh, that that would actually keep the novelty factor alive for a little longer than usual but because they're really trying to make this multiplayer experience look like it's going to be an action movie the entire highlight of this trailer was the omni movement you got people jumping out of windows and diving under cars and just it looks like one giant action movie though they did highlight four Four very specific things when they gave us this trailer here today. The first thing would be 16 all new maps, which is really good news in my opinion. Having 16 original brand new maps at launch is going to be huge, especially considering with Modern Warfare 3 just recently, we launched with the remasters of the old Modern Warfare 2 maps, which was nice to see. It was cool to see those original maps return once again, but at the same time, if you'd played those maps before back in the day, they were nothing really new to you, and you really yeah. didn't have that experience of jumping on a brand new Call of Duty game and having it feel completely fresh and completely original. Well, with Black Ops 6, 16 original maps at launch, and nowhere in this trailer did I find original. Nuketown, which was also interesting. Yeah. Back during the Black Ops 6 Direct, Yay. we saw Nuketown. It was very specifically put into the video itself, so you can clearly see over this guy's shoulder and see the multiplayer map being Nuketown, but I wouldn't consider Nuketown to be an all-new map, and also it was not featured here in this trailer today, yeah. so it's entirely possible. Now, I, I, I don't mind Nuketown coming back all the time. Like, I, I, I like that. I, it's like Nuketown is Black Ops, Black Ops is Nuketown, right? But I hope the maps are fun this time, man. I really hope multiplayer is fun, bro. Yeah, yeah bro, I, I don't want a bad year for Call of Duty. Well, that Nuketown is going to be a Season 1 map for Black Ops 6, but that's just speculation as of right now. We're going to have to wait and see. The other three things that they highlighted in this trailer are going to be Omni Movement, Gunsmith, as well as Classic Prestige. When it comes to Omni Movement, of course, you see that throughout the entirety of the trailer. When it comes to Gunsmith, that can slow this down for you guys. They basically just show a bunch of different weapon variants and different things you can do with different guns that are going to be in the game, as well as confirming and teasing some of the guns that we're going to have. Things like the 74U, what looks like an MP5, though it has a really goofy name if I recall correctly from the leaks because of course COD just can't have normal names anymore and then some goofy like XM4, M4 variants and things of that nature like Gunsmith is going to be returning we're going to have to wait and see if it's going to be as convoluted as the more recent Call of Duty games where you have like 40 different grips to choose from and 30 different magazines and 80 different optical sites and things of that nature you know so we're gonna now I, I liked a lot of different attachments but when no attachment feel unique that's the problem right like you add one attachment and it's like instead of getting the buff you get like two nerfs like two nerf points right it's like why bro like i'm adding attachments my weapon needs to be buff right and, but these things are crazy right like you attach the more attachments you have on your weapon your weapon perform the worst like your your aim is your ADS is slow it takes you like uh, uh, uh. you know it takes you like two seconds before you can aim properly running would be mobility would be slower right and, and yeah like why bro and, and every attachment like every grip would kind of even though different grips but they would feel kind of like the same ish so there's no like variety on paper it feels like that you got a lot of different customization but it's like it don't matter like everything is looked the same or feels the same rather right like yeah I, I hope they work on that like i i want more customization but i hope the customization don't like every time you add an attachment i hope they it don't nerf you right you feel that you feel that like i i hope there's no none of that crap right but guys check out this video on the screen recently we had like a massive situation that went down with noah j456 and mr t like but there was an update to the story noah j he streamed, right? He streamed back in the days, but now he made a new video, an upcoming video, uh, and he responded. It's a crazy situation. Drama is insane, all right? Check this out. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. We have some really good news about GTA 6, and we had gameplay leaks, high leaks, and it is crazy right now. Check it out, and I'll see you right